Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel all about VLSI. Today's lecture is all about our AHB to APB bridge. Specifically, we will be diving into the state machines governing this crucial module and exploring the AHB slave bus interface. So let's jump into it. State machine logic. So we will directly start with our state machine logic, which is used to control all the signals in our AHB to APB bridge. So the AHB to APB bridge comprises a state machine, which is used to control the generation of APB and AHB output signals. This state machine is used to control this state machine logic is used to control our AHB and APB output signals followed by it is also used to control address decoding logic which is used to select peripherals for selecting peripherals so the AHB to APB bridge comprises a state machine which is used to control the generation of APB and AHB output signals and address decoding logic which is used to generate the APB peripheral select lines. Now let's start with our state machine logic. After resetting the system, after applying reset signal, here in this case it is a active low reset. After applying this active low reset, we will be directed into ideal state. So after system reset, we will be directed into ideal state. So during this state, the APB buses and P write are driven with their last values. So during the ideal state, during the ideal state, so we are entering into this ideal so we are entering into this ideal state after reset that is after system initialization and in our state machine we are using a signal called valid so basically this valid signal is given by ahp module to our bridge so this, according to this valid signal, we will be deciding which state. So this valid signal is one of the signal which is used to decide which state should be the system should be in which state. I am making this valid signal is equal to one. That is this valid signal is coming from AHP side. So valid signal will be equal to one when the H trans signal is equal to 0, 1 or 1, 0. That is, it will be equal to 1 when it is sequential or either it is sequential or non-sequential. So, according to this valid signal, we will decide the state. So, from this ideal state, if valid is equal to 1, that is a peripheral has been selected that is a valid transfer is given by AHP and if H write is equal to 1 it indicates that a write operation then the next state would be W weight state and if valid is equal to 1 and H right is equal to zero, that is a read operation. Then the state will be read state. Now let's see about this WH state and read state. WH state is needed due to the pipeline structure of AHB transfers to allow the age beside of the write transfer to complete so that the write data becomes available on HW data. Since pipelining concept is present in our AHB side, 
pipeline because of this pipelining concept present in our AHB side. Here, suppose this is our bridge, and this is our APB. So during a write operation, when H write is equal to one, then AHB will take some time to write all the data to write this sequence of data since. With the help of pipelining, it will take some clock cycles, extra clock cycles to complete the write transfer when hwrite is equal to 1. So during this write transfer, until the AHB side completes its write transfer, until AHB completes its write transfer, the bridge has to wait for the AHB to complete its write transfer. So the bridge may insert wait states until AHB completes all its write transfer. So after AHB completes its write transfer, the bridge will go from wh state to write state. So until then, to introduce some clock cycles delay, until the AHB side completes its writing, the bridge will wait for some clock cycles until AHB completes its write operation. So that's why here we are introducing WH state. So in WH state, the state is needed due to pipeline structure of AHB transfers to allow the AHB side of the write transfer to complete so that the write data becomes available on H data. The APB write transfer is then started in the next clock cycle. So after WH state, we will discuss about read state. During this read state, the address is decoded. During this read state, address is decoded and it is assigned to P address on the APB side and the relevant P select signal will be selected and the slave and the respective slave will be selected and p write signal will be equal to 0. Here also a wait state will be introduced. Here also a wait state will be introduced so that AHB transfer does not complete until APB read data has driven on to HR data. In the read state the P address, the address is decoded and it is given to P address and P select will be driven to high and P write will be equal to zero and the data that is PR data will be assigned to HR data. So until this assignment is complete, until this assignment gets complete, a wait state is always inserted to ensure that data phase of current AHB transfer does not complete. Now, in this ideal state, if valid is equal to zero, then it will be in the ideal state only. If valid is equal to zero in the ideal state, then it will be in the ideal state only. If valid is equal to one and hash rate is equal to one, then it will go to WH state and if valid is equal to 1 and h rate is equal to 0, that is read operation, it will go to into read state. In read state, address is decoded and it is assigned to P ADDR and the data PW, PR data is assigned to HR data in the read state and the selective and the respective slave will be selected by using p select signal and a wait state will be introduced until the pr data is assigned to hr data whereas in case of wh state we are inserting in we are inserting an ideal clock ideal clock cycle so that the hb side so that the hb side completes its write transfer due to the pipeline structure of hp so from WH state, if valid is equal to 1, then that is a valid transfer. Then 
we are going into write underscore p and if valid is equal to zero then we are going into write 